the sun is stirring and NASA is on high alert. As we approach the peak of the solar cycle, massive bursts of energy from the sun are becoming more frequent and the stakes couldn't be higher. A single solar storm has the power to knock out satellites, disrupt power grids, and blind our GPS systems. But how do we even track such invisible cosmic chaos? In this video, we'll explore what makes today's solar activity so different, how NASA is stepping up its monitoring efforts, and what these revelations mean for all of us living on this magnetically protected blue dot. Solar activity is climbing toward a dramatic peak, and we're already seeing the signs. According to NASA's Heliophysics Division, the Sun is entering its most active period in over a decade, known as the Solar Maximum. This is not just a theoretical cycle, we have recently witnessed powerful solar flares and coronal mass ejections that have even forced satellite operators and airlines to adjust operations. But what's behind this sudden surge? It all starts with magnetic fields. The Sun's rotation causes its magnetic lines to twist and tangle like spaghetti. Eventually, these lines snap and reconnect, releasing vast amounts of energy. This process, called magnetic reconnection, is the engine behind solar flares and CME's giant plasma clouds ejected into space. While not every eruption hits Earth, the ones that do can stir up geomagnetic storms that mess with everything from navigation systems to power transformers. Just recently, the Parker Solar Probe picked up on unusually dense solar winds that matched predictive models of intensified reconnection events a sign we re-in for more turbulence. NASA's latest solar forecasts suggest we're only beginning to feel the stormy effects. What s alarming ISNT just the volume of solar events it s the speed at which they regrowing. And that s precisely why the next part of our journey dives straight into the tools that help us keep watch. While the sun may be unpredictable, NASA is armed with a powerful observational fleet to track its every move. This isn't passive science, it's an active, coordinated defense system stretched across the solar system. At the front line is the Parker Solar Probe, the closest human-made object to the sun. It flies directly into the sun's corona, collecting data on solar winds and magnetic fields in real time. This mission alone is rewriting everything we thought we knew about solar physics. Then there's the Solar Dynamics Observatory and the Twin Stereo Spacecraft, which offer constant imaging of sunspots and magnetic field activity from multiple angles, almost like having eyes around the sun. But that's not where it ends. NASA's SOHO Observatory, in collaboration with the ESA, has been one of our longest running space weather sentinels, monitoring the sun for over two decades. And closer to home, Themis and the Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission, MMS, Observe how solar storms ripple through Earth, S magnetic bubble, the magnetosphere, sometimes triggering bright auroras, sometimes causing communications blackouts. In 2023, Themis registered a massive burst of solar particles that caused sudden shifts in Earth's magnetic field data that would have gone unnoticed without these satellites. What's so special about this moment in time is how synchronized these missions are. They don't just gather data, they connect the dots between solar surface activity and real-world impact, often within minutes. And it s this rapid coordination that s helping us take solar prediction from guesswork to science. Knowing a solar storm is coming can mean the difference between a safe satellite and a 100 million failure. That's why prediction is no longer optional, it's essential. NASA isn't going it alone. It's working closely with the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center, which takes data from NASA's observatories and translates it into public warnings. In July 2025, for example, NOAA issued a severe geomagnetic storm alert just hours after SOHO, and SDO detected unusual solar activity. Airlines rerouted flights, and Starlink temporarily repositioned some of its satellites to minimize exposure. That alert wasn't a lucky guess, it was the result of years of collaborative modeling and observation. Behind the scenes, NASA is now experimenting with AI models that learn from historical solar data. These systems are being trained to detect patterns humans might miss subtle magnetic field changes or high-velocity solar wind indicators that could precede an eruption. Some scientists are even proposing solar weather buoys deep space sensors stationed beyond Earth's orbit to give us earlier warnings. But even with the best tools, we're still vulnerable. Our infrastructure from fiber optics to electric grids was never built with solar storms in mind. And with the explosion of satellite constellations like Starlink and Guowang, 
we've never had so much to lose. Which is why early detection ISN, T, just about space weather it, S about future proofing our modern world. The sun is not out to get us, but it doesn't care if we're ready or not. With solar storms ramping up, we re now facing a new kind of environmental challenge. One that comes from 93 million miles away. Thanks to missions like Parker Solar Probe and SDO, we're finally starting to understand how to see these storms coming. But that knowledge needs to translate into action better forecasting, stronger infrastructure, and more public awareness. If we don't adapt, the next big solar storm won't just be a spectacle in the sky, it could be a real world blackout. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.